Experiment number 27 Tests for aldehydes and ketones. The aim of this experiment is to observe some characteristic reactions of aldehydes and ketones. For this experiment, we use acetaldehyde and benzaldehyde as aldehydes, acetophenone and acetone as ketones. As the other chemicals, we use acidic potassium permanganate, acidic potassium dichromate, 2,4-DNP, methanol, freshly prepared Tollens reagent, Phalanx B reagent and Phalanx A reagent. Required equipments are test tubes, measuring cylinder, tongue and dropper. In addition to that, we need distilled water and a water bath. Place 1 ml of distilled water in 3 test tubes. Add benzaldehyde into the first test tube. Here you can see clearly separated two layers of liquids. Add acetophenone into the second test tube. Here also you can see clearly separated two layers of liquids. Add acetone into third test tube. Compared to the previous tests, here we cannot see clearly separated two layers of liquids. Now let's see how aldehydes and ketones react with 2,4-DNP. Add 2,4-DNP into acetaldehyde solution. A yellowish orange precipitate can be observed. Add 2,4-DNP into an acetone solution. Here also we can see a yellowish orange precipitate. Add 2,4-DNP into acetophenone dissolved in an organic solvent. Here we can see an orange color precipitate. Now add 2,4-DNP into benzaldehyde dissolved in an organic solvent. Here also we can see a yellowish orange color precipitate. Let's see how acetaldehyde react with acidic potassium permanganate. A brown color precipitate can be observed. Add acidic potassium permanganate into acetone. Here also we can see a brown color precipitate. Add acidic potassium permanganate into benzaldehyde dissolved in an organic solvent. A 
a brown color precipitate can be observed. Let's repeat the previous experiment by adding acidic potassium dichromate instead of acidic potassium permanganate. We can see pale green color solution in the test tubes contain acetaldehyde, benzaldehyde, and acetone. Add freshly prepared tolerance reagent into acetaldehyde and acetone and boil them for not more than 5 minutes. Here you can see a silver mirror is developing in the test tube that contain acetaldehyde. But you cannot see a silver mirror in the test tube that contained acetone. Here you can clearly see the silver mirror deposited on the wall of the test tube. Mix failing A and failing B solution and boil the mixture for 2 minutes. Add the prepared failings reagent into acetaldehyde. You can see a reddish brown precipitate is developing in the test tube. Add failing reagent into acetone. For acetone, you cannot see a reddish brown precipitate. Observations and inferences of the experiments are tabulated in these slides.